Hey, hey, I'm David, the wine writer for Wine Hunters, and today we're going to try the Rye Mill 2015 Kunawara Cab Sav. Um, a lot of you probably already know this, but Kunawara in the 1960s and 1970s gained uh, a fair amount of fame globally, I would say, as Australia's best region for the production of Cabernet Sauvignon. Um, in the last couple decades, I think it's probably fair to say that Margaret River has overshadowed Kunawara. Uh, but for our money, um, bang for your buck, if Cab Sav is what you're hunting for, Kunawara is the place to look. Uh, a bit about Rye Mill. Um, Rye Mill is one of our favorite wineries in Kunawara. They produce a, a pretty decent range of wines, um, all beautiful at very attractive prices. So, um, all right, let's get into the 2015 uh, Rye Mill Cab Sav. Ah, look at that color, just beautiful. Beautiful, dark, concentrated color. Ah, oh, glorious nose. It's a, uh, I smell power, I smell complexity, but also mystery. It's not giving a whole bunch away. It just, you can just smell the, the power and the potential. Oh, delicious. So, so good. So good. You always need two tries to really to, to confirm what you've tasted in this wine, so here we go. Okay, I'm getting blackberries, I'm getting blueberries, I'm getting that kind of brambly texture. I mean, classic Cap Sav flavors and texture. I got a Great line of power going through this wine. It just kind of goes straight for, straight through, uh, long finish. Instant classic, instant Kunawara Cab Sav classic. You gotta try it. Rye Mill 2015 Cab Sav. Um, and since we've talked a little bit about Kunawara today, um, I'd also like to mention a couple other wineries in that region that we like a lot. Um, so De Giorgio Family Wines, um, make a wide range of wines, fantastic prices, really good. Check them out. Uh, Parker Kunawara Estate, one of, the, one of the best Cab Sav producers in Australia, for sure. Um, even their entry-level stuff is quite good. And then finally, Bowen Estate. We love Bowen Estate. They just produced three or four varietals, but that focus really pays. Exceptional wines across across their small range. And Kunawar is known for Cab Sav, but they also do a tremendous job of Shiraz. Um, so check those out, too. And then finally, um, to conclude our brief session together today, I'd just like to point out that, yeah, Kunawara is our favorite spot in Australia for Cab Sav, but the varietal, do, varietal does well in a few regions. So here I have a couple examples. Um, this is uh, the Xanadu 2017 Cab Sav, Powerhouse Cab Sav from Margaret River. Again, Margaret River, very well-known region for Cab Sav. Um, but this guy, the Tumblong Hills 2013 Cab Sav from Gundagai, New South Wales, um, probably a region that a lot of you guys won't have heard of. Such a beautiful, mysterious, dark wine, uh, Gundagai. Check it out. Barossa. Uh, here we have the Shield Estate 2015 Cab Sav. Barossa is not normally thought of or known for Cab Sav, but this is a stunning wine. Cedar, oak, cigar box, j just very complex and delicious. And then finally, um, in our own backyard, uh, we have the Ellis 2012 Cab Sav. This wine, you had, you'll just have to try it for yourself if you can find it. It was our 2018 Wine Hunters Wine of the Year. So, hope you've enjoyed today's session. Uh, we'll see you guys next time. Thanks.